Hi, welcome to Ramco TV. My name is Brad Vory and one of the automation specialists for Ramco. So you have an application that requires servos. What size do those servos need to be? How do I determine the part numbers I need? In this video, we will show you a simple way to help you select the right components for your next motion project. Let's take a look. The first question you will typically ask when designing a servo system is what size motor do I need? Let's just get the biggest motor available and slap it on, right? Well, unless you have an unlimited budget and large floor space to put this machine in, you will want to reconsider. To start, there are two main categories to think about. What am I moving and how fast do I need to get there? For example, let's say you have a turntable and you need to rotate it 20 degrees in half a second. You would need to know things like diameter of the turntable and weight, the product that will be on the turntable and its weight, as well as any offset loads or external forces. So once you get that info, take the diameter of the turntable times pi, divide it by the weight and coefficient of aluminum. Oh yeah, and then there's friction. So add that and then there's a soft balance thing. And how much does that dog food weigh again? You getting all this, neither am I. How about I tell you a much easier way of doing this? The Omron SysMac family of products has developed an easy method of assizing your servo that will even interact with SysMac Studio programming software. Using SysMac's motor sizing tool, the software will help you determine the correct size of servo for your application. Using the previous example of a turntable, enter in the inner and outer diameter of the turntable, thickness, and material it will automatically calculate the inertia. The next step is to enter in the move profile. For example, we are moving 20 degrees in half a second with a two second dwell. We have a force of two newton meters at this point in the cycle. This force represents any load or weight on the turntable. As you can see at the bottom of the screen, the program is giving us an indication of an acceptable motor and its utilization of that motor. If you want to see if a gearbox will help, Simply enter in a reduction ratio and the suggested motors will change based upon the gearbox selection. Once you have selected a motor, you can print off a report that will give you a complete list of part numbers to give to your shiver. By the way, it's Ramco. That's R-A-M-C-O. One of the coolest features of this program is that, it will, that you can export this information and then import it into SysMac Studio and will automatically add the program to your EtherCAT network and add the appropriate axis in your program using the values entered in the sizing software. As you can see, using Omron Automation for your next project can speed up the development time and get your machine up and running a lot quicker. It's a SysMac advantage. Stay tuned for future videos on advantages of using Omron Automation. Thanks for watching and be safe out there.